Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to the program, fuckers! Paid reviews, I got my mojo back, and I'm making vids. Okay, this is a paid review for David Nagy, and uh, I did a, a video about some advice for his IT career. Now, it's time for me to uh, review his watch collection, so uh, let's go into that there. My watch collection includes an Amiga C Speedmaster, Man on the Moon, manual wine, plastic glass, yes. An Amiga Seamaster 2531, a Tissot Viso Date, retro style, which is quite dressy. A Tissot PRS 516 and an older 36mm Datejust, sorry, 36mm Rolex. Okay. All the decent pieces were bought used, but in minty, minty condition. I know the 516, that's the Tissot, is dog shit, but selling it would bring little money. I do love the simple look of the Vizio date. I also have an Orient Mako on a uh, NATO strap that I use when I vacation, camping and hiking, etc. When I bought the Moonwatch last year, I was considering a Rolex. I could not decide on a model. Being the 45th anniversary of the moon landing and my 45th birthday, the Amiga was the obvious choice. I like the steel subs, but hate the tin metal clasp on the older Rolexes. The newer subs improve this, but with the fat maxi lugs, it's looking like a 50-year-old woman. No real improvement, just fatter around the edges. What Rolex would you recommend to round out my collection? I'm leaning towards an Explorer 2, a Datejust 2, or a Sub 16610. By the way, I just returned from a five-star resort in Mexico, and nasty fuckers stole my Gucci flip-flops. This is why I have the Orient. Anyway, nice one, Archie. Okay, let's do a collection review. Let's get straight to the point. Okay, Amiga Speedmaster, man on the moon. Yes. Omega Seamaster, mm, yeah. Tissot Vizio Date, Tissot PRS 516, Rolex 36 mil. Mm. Okay. My advice there: get rid of those fucking Tissos. I mean, you got two of them. Get, I mean, fuck. Give one away to your, your son or somebody. Just get rid... Just lessen the load. Two Omegas, yeah. Don't buy any more. That's enough. That's enough Omegas. 36mm Rolex, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's okay. That's okay. Um... What would I buy next? Definitely, forget the Datejust 2. I'd buy an Explorer 2. I reckon that's a great bang per buck watch. Great bang per buck. And I mean, let, let's look at your collection here. You've got a uh, you've got a Speedmaster as your chronograph. You've got a Amiga Seamaster. That's your dive watch. Add a GMT function watch. I reckon the Explorer 2 Polar would be perfect. It'd be nice, nice collection. Get rid of. I mean, what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point? I'm sending me an email listing this Tissot shit. You may as well not even put that in my fucking fucking email. It's garbage, garbage. Same as that Orient Mako. What the fuck were you thinking? You know, don't fucking waste my time putting that shit in, 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 into an email you send me. It's fucking garbage. Garbage, okay? So you got two, three decent watches. Two Omegas. I mean, you, 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 I, I, I fucking, you know, this is what fucks me off no end. I mean, he sends me a fucking, fucking email. I print the cunts out. Right, that's the photo I'm going on. I don't know what fucking 36 mil Rolex you've got there. I don't know what, you should have told me the fucking model number. I mean, it just fucks me no end. Uh, anyhow, we'll just assume it's an Oyster Perpetual or some fucking nondescript thing. But, um, I, I'd definitely go Explorer 2. Because you've got the, the Chrono, you've got the, the Amiga Dive Watch, and you've got a, um... You got the Rolex, I assume it's some sort of fucking Oyster Perpetual or Oyster uh, fucking date just. But I, I'd be going Explorer 2. That's a wonderful watch. Great bang per buck. I've got one. I've got shares in them. Yeah, I got fucking shares in, in an Explorer. I got an Explorer 2 myself. 
They're just a great, great fucking watch. They're a great fucking watch. And, and I, I just think they are super, super duper cool. Super fucking cool, fuckers. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I'm really pleased with your collection. That's a nice collection there. So, uh, yeah, fuckers, I quite, quite like it. Get rid of the garbage. Get an Explorer 2. And, uh, yep, keep plugging the IT. IT's a fucking hard game, fuckers. It's hard game. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, na manky fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great feed. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.